Well, howdy. Prospector Paul here. Hey, I think we got a pretty good episode coming your way. Well, except for we got some claim jumpers. I hear some buggies coming. They're just talking away. Must think they own the place. <laughs> hmm. Maybe I should put my sidearm on. See what's going on here. <laughs> Just a yakking away. Well, that guy looks familiar. <laughs> Well, howdy, Prospector Paul here. Hey, we got a pretty good episode coming your way today. We got about five guys out in the field. We're on one of the uh, claims that I sold. And we got Jack from Michigan. We got Nick from Michigan. We got Lawrence up there running the metal detector. He's from Michigan. And then you may recognize this guy. He's a native Arizonan. Hi, I'm from Arizona. <laughs> I'm telling you. I've been hanging around this guy for about an hour. What you see on YouTube is exactly what you get. Yeah. He is one cool cat. We're setting up the dry washer. We got a little hole going already. Pulled about, what, four ounces of gold out of that so far? Oh yeah, we've been <laughs> So we're gonna get to setting up everything and we're gonna start digging and we're gonna start running some dirt. Be back with you in a little bit. All right, so we got Nick working here in the hole. Look at yeah, all that nice, black sand, nice huh? And red and kind of tell by the darkness of it that there's there's going to be some black sand in there so that's what we want right yeah that looks good juicy stuff that's oh, what we want nice looking dirt got a, a bedrock going up so we're just scraping that off we'll vacuum that up get out of the man's way so we can get his bucket through here got a couple buckets stacked up Box is looking good. Lawrence is still up there looking for targets. <laughs> Done pretty good. I've heard a few times go off. Awesome, awesome. Got three different holes. Working them pretty hard. See how many buckets we get through. All right. So we just put 26 buckets through the machine. And we're going to do one of uh, I Break for Bedrock's famous cleanups with the vacuum. All right. I don't know how much coal to be in there. We didn't. Uh... Yeah, this is your spot. Yeah, this, yeah, this is one of our spots, <laughs> not one of theirs. <laughs> That's cool, man. I could probably get away with about a tenth of your cleanup if I run all day at my spot. There's some nice chunky shit there. Oh, that's just some stuff. That last one we metal detected was uh, full of quartz. Oh, how cool. Just gorgeous. That's oh. so cool. And then I gave it away. Really? Yeah. Like, the, guy, the guy that found it with the metal detector, it's his piece. The way I look at it. Hey, let's find another piece. Well, it was broke off, so I'm hoping to find the bigger half. <laughs> <laughs>
Evans Sandwich Building School here. Right. <laughs> That's what Get we do. Sandwich and chips all at once. <laughs> oh man, mine's got a good crunch to it. And he's got some <laughs> chips too. <laughs> I brought chicken. I didn't extra for that. Right? I didn't get the memo. I brought chicken. chicken uh, you want some chicken? There's on another there. one up there. No. <laughs> <laughs> we used to eat it with a chip, though. I mean, <laughs> uh -oh. instead of dipping sauce, you chip it. Mm -hmm. Chip sauce. Nacho cheese chicken. said to dig here. We're just taking a little sample off the surface. We got old Nick running the dry washer. Hey, hey, hey. how's it going, folks? <laughs> yeah, he's all right. He should start his own YouTube channel, shouldn't he? Right. Like this, huh? Oh, it's a good looking dirt. Yeah, nice and red. Yeah. Coming off the old king pretty good there. Let's get some of them tailings out of the way. Hey guy, just handles that bucket like nothing. That's one of the Midwest corn play fed boys there. <laughs> Fill them right to the top. <laughs> Ooh. Ah, right, we'll get back to a cleanup. See what we get. What'd you get in the pan there, Nick? Well, we got some nice fine colors here. Yeah. Wait a minute, that really microscopic stuff you caught that with a dry washer, sir? Yes, we did. You we can't do that. Dry... I thought you had to use water. <laughs> no, that's what I always thought too until I came to Arizona. But then you had to run it 18 times in a row, right? Like over and over? <laughs> no, didn't have to do that. Huh, actually, that's the, odd. the soil wasn't that. Uh, wasn't that dry? Wasn't that dry today? Oh either. yeah, you can see that smile. That's just a sample pan. But... One sample pan, nice pickers. <laughs> In Michigan, those are pickers. Yeah, I believe you. They are. Right. Hey, so that ain't really bad for small. ten buckets up no, on a flat, right? Heck, no. Yeah, they weren't even clear full buckets because I filled them. <laughs> Pretty weak. 
All right, we got one more cleanup to do. So I filmed this episode a few weeks before I left Arizona. And, uh, well, I'm out here boondocking right now. And I ain't going to tell you where. You'll see an episode from this place coming up. Why don't we go outside and take a look at this magnificent view? All right, check out this view. Are you ready for that? Absolutely amazing. Man, look at that beautiful canyon, huh? It's gonna get windy. Goes down into that nice little draw. Beautiful here. All right, I'm back inside the rig again. As you can see, we're backed up heading to Alaska. <laughs> it's a mess, but we got the whole front half of the trailer to sleep in and rest and relax after a long day of driving. I'm going to give you the only clue as to the place where I'm at. And there it is right there. Hopefully you all can see that. That little bug's 550 million years old. Pretty cool. That's a molt. Doesn't have the cheeks on it. So when that bug uh, was shedding its skin, he crawled out, took his cheeks with him, and then formed a new exoskeleton. And left this one behind to settle in the mud and make that little fossil. There, that's better than the light. All right, on with the show. Well, I sure had me a good time working with Nick and Boulder Dash. We uh, got to work up on the flats there and did a little 10 bucket run. And uh, put some pretty nice gold in there for just being up on the flats. It uh, always amazes me how much gold's up there. And we done pretty good down there in the creek too when we did the dry washing down there. It was uh, definitely a lot of fun. Well, we're going to wrap the episode with that. And uh, do me a favor, like, share, and subscribe. Leave me one of them comments. You know I like reading your comments. Prospector Paul, out.